All right, it is Lala Coaster, aka Justin Fane, broadcasting to you from sunny California. No, I'm just joking. It's Ohio. It's cold. There's no need for these aviators. It's not sunny, unfortunately. It was a couple days ago. Is it now? So I'm inside making a Photoshop tutorial video. I'm gonna teach you guys. I love this bean. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make 3D animations and rotations and stuff in Photoshop. So let's get started putting on my thinking glasses so let's go to your desktop and I'm uh get some jams going because well this might be a while so I'm gonna do this with an image I've never actually done before like I'm not joking I've never done it with this image before I got a picture of like Lord of the Rings of one ring you know the ring to rule them all and I'm going to make it rotate or do something cool in Photoshop. I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. So, you know, first you're going to need a copy of Photoshop, I think CS6, the pro version. And if you don't have it, you know, go buy a copy or download it. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not some moral internet bag. Do what you want, man. But, anyways, open up the image. First step, you know. First steps to get it, the Photoshop, but second steps to open up your image. Now you're gonna have a background, and we don't like background because those those dots you know you can't work with that. You know you can't use a background in 3D, or else it looks like a postcard and it's just stupid. So you're gonna wanna cut away the crap with the magic wand. But I'm gonna use the lasso tool, actually magnetic lasso magnetic lasso let's also zoom in a little bit so you make sure you're doing a good job wow it's not zooming at all but I don't care I'm gonna make a 3d animation out of this crappily magnetic lassoed ring and you know it'll pretty much give you guys the gist of what you're trying to do here so we're gonna cut that into its own layer we're gonna unclick the background so it's not all selected now we're just gonna have this crappy eh, eh, eh. stop okay this crappy ring it's gonna look horrible when it's done but whatever it's demonstration so we got rid of the crap and some of the ring too so we're gonna make we're gonna make into a three layer and do a 3D extrusion. You could also uh, could have right clicked and go down to 3D extrusion, but here we go. We have a 3D ring now. It's it's in a third dimension. Like um, uh, we can spin all around. Look at it. It's it's 3D. It's great. We can actually now. You don't want a fat ring. I mean, it looks stupid. So when you click on it, when you click on it, right click, and make the extrusion depth smaller. Okay. See this extrusion? I can't. I might not even pro pronouncing that right. Whatever, you get it. This thing. You see me doing it. Also, if you don't have the 3D panel set up, you're gonna want to go down to Window and Workspace and 3D or Motion. Um, yeah, I'll go down to Motion. It looks a little cleaner. It's the same stuff I had it before. It's just prettier. So you're going to want to go to top view up here, top view, and you're going to want to switch it, switch the the, 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 the the main, the secondary. You're going to want to go to this little tool, even I have trouble doing this, you're going to want to click on it till it, yep, you get it to move. And you move it right to the where the blue line, the X and the Y and the Z axis all intersect. So that way when you go to your front view, front view switch it looks all nice or maybe your default view it looks all nice you know it's a clean it's a clean thing now you're like oh Justin you know this is great I got a 3d ring here what am I supposed to do with it now you know what do you do now well you can make it do shit okay I'll show you so I'm gonna scroll up because I'm gonna want a little more space on my timeline and I'm going to let's see create a video timeline alright so you have a timeline let's let's click it you know it's you have you now have an animation but it's 
doing nothing. I want, you know, just not have an animation, but I want it to do something. Like, okay, got you. We got this. We got this. So you're going to want to click down your layer. And the first one I'm going to teach you is the 3D scene position, because that's just the easiest one. And you're going to want to click on it. Click on the little timer. And see how that's there? Right? Right? You got it? That's the beginning of your motion. Remember that. Now you're going to want to drag the blue error thingy blue thingy with the line to where you want how long you want your animation to be so let's say i want about five you know five i, I forget the unit whatever i want it to be like five and I, I know this time stuff in my head whatever you'll get used to it as it goes along and now you're like okay let's let's go let's, let's, let's click play you know nothing still nothing even though we clicked on the 3d scene position you know you know you feel me you feel me so go back over the five, and you're gonna wanna click on layers and le le scene. Okay, we're on the scene layer. Right, we're on the scene. So we're gonna go on to go to coordinates. Let's say we want the rotate on the y-axis 360 degrees. And click enter. You see how it created that little gray thingy right there? That's because it knows that right there at that point in time it's supposed to be rotated 360 degrees so it's gonna make sure that it's rotating constantly to get to th the 360 so if you click the space bar and watch it play and the thing is I've noticed it's always a little slow on its first to like run across so if it seems a little crip you know bad it's just sort of like a rendering thing. See how it's only like 10, 11 frames per second, sometimes down to 9. I've seen it as low as like 7 or 4, you know, low. But, you know, it's cleaner on the second run. You can also make it faster. See how it's moving faster now because it's some, uh... It means it has to do the 360 faster than it was watch see that's faster than if I had had the yellow all the way over here and we can make it really fast you know what I mean I think you get where I'm going with this so you know now you got this you got a 3d you got something spinning you have movement thank God you actually if, if you get nothing out of this you have a spinning object okay so you're gonna want to save that. You know, you might want to save that as a um, uh, save for web for a GIF. That's that's how I do it. And if you you're gonna want the quality to be nearest neighbor, and it's loading right now, and I got this. Okay, you're gonna want the quality to be nearest neighbor. It's like the best quality you can get. I mean, there are other ways you could get even better qualities, but those that's like I'm an editor. I don't use. I don't even use that. It's really like if I was get if I was getting paid, yeah, maybe. So, look at my settings, get a quick look, pause the screen, look now. Here you go. Here's your chance. You've seen it. You had your chance. Okay. So you're gonna want, you know, loop animations once or forever. I like forever better. That way it'll just do it by itself. That's how it works. That's how it is on most websites. But I'm going to click save. I'm going to save it to wherever I want. I'm going to save it to my desktop because that's where I'm showing you. I have this little 3D editing folder over here. That's none of your damn business. Okay, so now we have it. So I'm going to open it up in Internet Explorer because that's how I preview. Um, just a second. All right. Um, I paused it. I'm back. I'll go get ice cream. Yeah. My life's awesome like that. But, you know, here's the animation in Internet Explorer. You can just see if it's still recording. Okay, so, there you go. You have an animation. Um, hmm. I think that's all I'm going to teach you today. I don't know what to name this video, but... Next, I will teach you camera position in the next video. So, until then, have an awesome day.